Hello everyone. Now in this session I will explain sum number 5, 6 and 7 of question number 2 of exercise 9.5. So we will follow the same identity that is x plus a, x plus b and this would be equals to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b so this is the identity that will apply for each and every question that is 5 6 and 7 also fine now if you compare x plus a with 2x plus 5 5y and x plus b with 2x plus 3y then we can see that in place of x we have 2x in place of a we have 5y and in place of b there is 3y okay so accordingly we will solve the problem now so according to the identity what is the first thing that we have to write x square okay so what is there in the place of x 2x so first of all we will write the value of x and then we will do the square okay try to understand these things very properly first you write the value of x and then you will do the square okay then you will write plus then what is the, the next thing that you have to do? A plus B. So what is there in the place of A? 5Y plus 3Y. And this whole thing you have to multiply with X. Now what is X? 2X. Then again there is a plus sign is there in the identity. And at last what we have to write? A into B. What is A? 5Y into 3Y. So you can put this inside the bracket. Now simply we have to solve it. So, 2x squared, just 10 minutes to this. So, now we will write the value of 2x squared. So, value of 2x squared would be 4x whole square plus what was there in the bracket? 5y plus 3y. So, 5y plus 3y will give you 8y and this you have to multiply with x that is into 2x and a into b was there isn't it a into b that is 5y into 3y so 5y into 3y would be what 5 into 3 is 15 and what is y into y is y square now we'll solve this part okay if you want then you can put it inside this bracket also so 4x square plus 8 into 2 is what 16 and y into x is xy or yx anyway you can write it and 15 y square okay so this is a required answer of sum number 5 now let's do sum number 6 so this is sum number 6 students so as we see it is in the form of x plus a and x plus b so in place of x what we have see this is this is x this is in the place of x plus 9 is in the place of a again this is x and plus 5 is representing b so individual will write it down what is the value of x given 2a square what is a according to the question it is 9 what is b b we have 5 okay so now we'll use the identity so according to the identity what is the first thing that we have to write x square isn't it so now we'll write x square so first of all we'll write x what is x written 2a square this is x now we have to write x square now this we have to do square so x then we will do square after that inside the bracket it, it is written a plus b isn't it according to the identity it is a plus b so 9 plus 5 we will do 9 plus 5 and this you have to multiply with x so what is x 2a square plus a into b what is a into b 9 into 5 isn't it now what is the answer of 2 square it would be 4 and what is the square of a square that means 2 into 2 would be what a to the power 4 according to the exponents law power law now we'll solve the bracket 9 plus 5 is 14 14 into 2a square plus 9 5s are 45. Okay. 
so your final answer would be 4 a to the power 4 now 4 to the is 14 to the is what 28 a square plus 45 okay so this is the solution of sum number 6 now let's move on to sum number 7 so here we have sum number 7 students in the first bracket we have x y z minus 4 in the second bracket we have x y z minus 2 so this is x this is x now what is b b is sorry a is what a is minus 4 and what is b b is minus 2 so we'll write x what is x given in the question x y z or what is there in the place of a this time minus 4 along with the sign you have to write it down and what is b b is minus 2 okay so we'll put it inside the box now according to the identity what is the first thing that we have to write x squares first of all we write x what is x x y z and then we'll do the, the square of this after that, we will put a sign, plus sign. Then inside the bracket, we have to write A plus B. So, what is A? Minus 4 plus B. What is B? B is negative. So, we will put it inside the bracket. Now, this whole thing we have to multiply with X. And X is X, Y, Z plus A into B. So, we will put it inside the bracket. That is minus 4 into minus 2. Now, what will the answer of X, Y, Z whole square? What is the square of X? x square what is the square of y y square what is the square of z z square now we'll try to solve the bracket minus 4 plus minus would be what plus minus would be minus 2 this we will multiply with x y z once you get the answer and what is the result of minus 4 into minus 2 so minus minus will become plus and 4 twos are 8 so it will give you plus 8 now, for the final step, we have to go to the next page. So, the concluding part would be x square, y square, z square, plus, and what we have, minus 2, sorry, minus 4, minus 2. It will give you minus 6. So, minus 6, we will put it inside the bracket, into x, y, z. And then, at last, what we have to write, plus 8. Now, let's solve this part x square y square z square so minus 6 into x y z will be minus 6 x y z and plus minus is minus so answer would be minus 6 x y z plus 8 so this is your required answer of sum number 7 and that's it for today's session students thank you so much god bless you all and take care